Yellow, this is delusional here. I have a special video, I guess, uh, mostly a rant, if anything, right now with the current state of the game, especially when it comes to the matchmaking. For one, I don't know if you guys have realized anything, depending uh, on those players that have a high tech and prowess like I do, in which that I feel like I've been coming across a lot of players that have a high amount of tech and prowess, or that I'm matchmaking against players that are around my tech and prowess in general. I could be playing player matches and coming across players that are around either Fujin or higher in terms of rank. And then their Tekken prowess is legitimately around 180, 190, 200k prowess or more. While they're playing either their ult or maybe even their mains. So I don't know what's going on with that. And from what I've heard, even though I'm I going to contradict myself right now. From what I've heard supposedly on Twitter and some videos that I've seen lately that supposedly this is actually an update that they have done to the game where they secretly made it so where if you have a certain amount of Tekken prowess the game will try to match make you with other players around the same Tekken prowess or higher or around a little bit lower than yours and that's about it so if your rank with your character is at, let's say around vanquisher or eliminator or whatever doesn't matter the game would only find you opponents that are around the same Tekken prowess as you so, from what I'm seeing lately, and from what I've been experiencing, I've been only coming across players around the same second prowess. They can be playing their ult. They can be playing a character that they have no idea how to play as. But they have nearly a high amount of Tekken prowess. Like we need, We're talking about like a Tekken prowess of either somebody who is at Bushin level, or Tekken King level. Playing their ults. So, I'm very confused as to why they made that change. So, to me... What this tells me, and what this entails with the whole situation at hand, is that because of the Eddie Gordo DLC that has come out, where if you bought him and you played him in ranked, he will then have a rank of beginner level, or beginner rank in terms of what they are in with the character. And what this means is that they essentially make it so that if you're playing Eddie Gordo for the first time, your rank will be literally at the very first rank. So a lot of casuals are essentially bitching and moaning that, oh yeah, uh, I don't like fighting against these players because they're all smurfing, which is not really smurfing, that's not what smurfing is. Smurfing is if you're playing on an alt account with the overall experience that you currently have with the game and then essentially just shitting on all the newbies, all the casual players that don't have the overall experience that you have. That is smurfing. What's happening is that you're seeing a lot of players playing an alt character that just so happens to be at a beginner rank. And so with the knowledge that they have, with the fundamentals that they have and everything, they're just destroying all the casual players in ranked play. So that's not really at fault all the players, that's a fault with Bandai Namco being so incompetent and not just making it so that Eddie Gordo is at the current rank with all your other characters in the game. And that's it. So what this means with the whole issue with Tekken prowess affecting the matches and all that shit is that I'm having issues finding actual players because of this new matchmaking system that they have in mind. So with this, I'm struggling to find players around two to three minutes, maybe even more about five minutes. So I would imagine with my current challenge that I'm doing with my, you know, with my game, with the videos that I'm making lately, where I try to hit Fujin with all the characters in the game, which in a, in a way also helps me out because I learned the matchup as I am doing the challenge. That with each character that I reach Fujin with, I'm getting an overall increase of Tekken Prowess. So I would imagine that if I were to finish with all the characters in the game, I will then hit nearly around maybe 300k to around 400k Prowess. Which means that I will be at a Tekken Prowess level of a God of Destruction player. So I would imagine the difficulty of finding the games in that particular Tekken Prowess level. Where it will take me nearly 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or 20 minutes to find a game. So yeah, I, I really don't like this overall change. It it's really bothering me. Like I don't care if I'm fighting against stronger opponents. In fact, I like it. Because this means I get to learn exactly what these players know. 
So I, I could care less if I'm fighting against players that are stronger than me, but it's just the matchmaking is the issue. I, I, I don't know why they don't have like a system in place where if you want to fight players around a, a higher tech and prowess, instead of affecting the rank. But n instead of doing that, it's affecting somehow only the tech and prowess and not the current rank that you're in with your character. So it really just means that the, the developers don't want you to play multiple characters. They just want you to pick, pick one character and that's it. So I don't understand that genuinely which also adds into another issue that i'm going to go into is that again because of the fact of the overall challenge that i'm doing in the game if i do reach that current rank where i reach a very high tech and prowess then it will be kind of impossible to actually find good matches or any matches that will happen in an instant or so because the game is trying to find me players in general in the game so can I really continue doing this challenge if it means that I may have a high tech and prowess because of it? Instead of just putting me at a rank and not affecting my tech and prowess in general? So with my thoughts on that, what I feel is that I'm probably going to stop trying to continue this overall challenge with I'm going to try to reach Fujin with every character in the game and maybe just strictly continue playing with the main characters that I tend to play the most of. But I, I the thing is, I also really want to play other characters. I, I also want to play Asuka. I've been wanting to play her. I want to, I want to have been playing Lars as well. Claudio is another character that I really want to play. Uh, what other characters too, I would say? And Victor. Victor is the main character that I want to main. Besides Yoshimitsu. Because these are two Swordsman characters. Like I, I, I come from Soul Calibur. That's, that's the game that I started out my channel with when I started playing and making videos. Like you can literally go back to, like, I don't know, four or five years ago since I made my channel on... No, should I say the first video that I made on the channel, that is. And you can see all the Soul Calibur videos that I made. Though they're quite shit uh, in terms of quality and I was still new at YouTube so I didn't understand how to really do anything. And even then, during the, during the years, I was still quite ass at really applying proper content. Until I stuck to playing Tekken 7, and then my channel was kind of growing, but it was still, you know, slow. And now it's like with 3,000 subs that I exploded, I still feel a little bit, you know, overwhelmed with the fact that I have all these subscribers now. But, you know, it's nice that now I, I'm, I'm partnered with YouTube and I'm making some money off of this. So hopefully I can make even more and hopefully grow even bigger. But because that Tekken 8 was the overall reason for my success, I'm scared that if I ever decide to play any other games in the future that I would like to uh, cover on my channel, that people would just leave. Which is one of the things that, I'm, that I want to talk about is that I'm seeing that a lot of the videos having to do with the relative Fujin challenge thing that I'm doing now, those videos are not doing super well. And it's fine, you know, it's, it's overall... Uh, understanding that you have to understand as a creator that if you want people to be compelled about your videos then you need to do something essentially that can you know allow them to feel excited and feel entertained about the content that you're creating but they see that's that's the thing when i make videos on yoshimitsu people eat it up people love that shit when it comes to yoshimitsu and that's why I, I don't want to feel stuck to only being a Yoshimitsu channel. I want to be a creator that plays a lot of characters that people can will love to watch. So that's why I also want to play a lot of other characters and use, this as a, use that as an excuse to also learn the matchups as well, in a way. So I know that that's just mostly my overall little rant, and I know that it's just my overall fault as a creator to not really make it so that other people will like to watch the video. But it's just weird to me that when, when I do come across this little issue that when it comes to the videos having to do with other characters people don't really watch it like only the people that support me the people that have been subscribed to me and wanted to see that character played are the ones watching it but everybody else that are sub to me they they barely watch it so i think what i'm gonna do is is that uh besides the overall you know little and i feel embarrassed talking about this really because it, it feels so shallow it feels like i'm just you know crying over the fact that I'm not getting more views on those videos but I think what I'm gonna do is, is that I'm going to probably maybe do a few more characters overall because I, like I said I want to try Victor I want to main him as my fucking main I want to try all the characters like Asuka, Lars, 
Claudio as well. And if there's a DLC character that I really like, like let's say Armor King, if he were to come out, I really would like to play him as well. Then I would think that that's it. Unless they make a completely new character and it seems interesting, then hell yeah, I would like to try that character out if I find it fun. But besides that, I think I'm just going to probably just stick to the characters that I want to play and then try to reach a high rank with them and then create content on those kinds of, kinds of characters. So I think that's what I'm going to do overall. And if, you know, it doesn't net me enough views, it's, just, it's fine with me. You know, it's fine. It's something that, that comes with the package of being a creator. So if I can't make interesting videos, it's just my fault overall. So I want to get into a topic having to do with the future of the channel overall. So what I'm planning to do is this, and this is an important update to what I'm going to do on this channel, and that is that I'm actually thinking of streaming. I'm actually thinking of actually start to stream on this channel, on YouTube specifically, not on Twitch, because I feel more comfortable now on YouTube. So once I feel a little bit more, I'll just say adjusted to streaming, I'll then try streaming on Twitch. But I'll think I'll just stick to YouTube first for now, and if I ever get a little bit bigger on the streaming platform then I'll decide if I want to do twitch but that's only how should I say manageable if I have a big audience which right now I don't so that's more of a lofty goal than anything so yeah I'm playing a stream but it's not there, there is no schedule yet there is no date to when I'm gonna do that I'm just overall planning as to when I'm gonna then decide when it's the best time to stream. I also have to do some testing to see whether or not how well the stream will look like, if it's gonna lag, if it's gonna be any problems, anything like that, right? And then at what time I'm going to be streaming, because I don't wanna be streaming at random hours, at least not yet with how I'm living now. I don't want to disturb anybody, I don't want to disturb my family, I don't want to, you know, because I wanna, I wanna be at least normal in the stream, I don't wanna be quiet, I don't wanna talk low when everybody's asleep and I'm trying to stream, you know? So that's one thing. And then the other thing also is that uh, I'm just worried how well my bandwidth can handle the streaming as well as my computer, how everything will, will handle everything in general. So that's the only other thing. So that's why I'm gonna do with some testing. I'll, I, I don't have a schedule yet for that, but I will have one done in the future. Hopefully maybe around maybe a few weeks don't don't quote don't quote on me don't quote on me I, I don't I don't know whether or not if I will but if I do start doing it around this month or in the end or the next month I would say probably the next month I'll probably end up um, do, starting the stream or test uh, testing out the streams I mean then yeah I guess that's it so that's overall what I want to talk about in this video I know it's a little long uh, the issues with the matchmaking, I hope that they fix it. There's supposedly an update that's coming soon in three days. So I don't know if it's really in three days or if it's coming around somewhere around this week. And maybe they'll issue in some fixes uh, on the matchmaking problem. But if it's going to stay, then yeah, uh, I'll have to make some drastic changes to what I'm doing now for content. And yeah that's about it and then the whole streaming thing so if you guys like what you heard on this video give it a like or a dislike if you want subscribe and receive more of my shit and stay tuned for more